Hi guys, today we are going to meet an innovative college professor who is using the audiovisual technology installed in her classroom to create a hybrid learning experience for both in-person students and remote learning. We are going to get the chance to see how remote students are engaging in this hybrid learning environment and we'll see how the professor is using two PTZ cameras to keep remote students and in-person students engaged. The remote students will be coming in via Zoom. How have the PTZ optics cameras helped me to lead class for both in-person and remote students? Well, I don't think I could lead class for both in-person and remote students without them because I need the cameras to uh, keep everyone engaged and feeling connected. At any given time when I'm teaching, I do have students in person in the classroom, and I also have students coming into that same class through Zoom, through the big screen uh, at the front of the classroom. So I use the PTZ optics cameras to help the students to see one another, while we're having a class discussion to possibly, you know, using the camera in the back of the room, I can have the remote learners see me standing in the front of the room lecturing. If their classmates are speaking, I can use a different camera so that the remote learners can watch their classmates speaking. I definitely need those cameras to keep the remote and in-person students engaged in the one class. Keeping remote students engaged in this hybrid learning environment has been a journey of discovery for me as an instructor. And I have to say, I think I'm just starting to feel that I figured out a way to keep the students engaged. And I should probably start by telling you that when I first had the experience uh, last fall of having, you know, being here in the classroom, but having some of my students coming in remotely through Zoom, I wasn't, I, I feel like I was forgetting they were there sometimes. You know, I was speaking to the physically present students and I felt like I had my back to the screen. So if you think about it, the screen is at the front of the classroom. So I would forget to turn around. And then I realized I have cameras in my classroom. I have these great PTZ optics cameras. And I, at first I had not used them for like the first month didn't realize that it would change everything. Then I started using the cameras and I realized I didn't need to be turning around, turning my back on one population of in-person learners to look at the screen to see the remote lear like learners up on the screen. I could use the cameras and I could stay in one position and keep everyone engaged by having different views of the classroom with, with using the front and back cameras. I think that's the best way I can explain that I use them to, to keep the remote learners engaged. What have my students said about this new way of attending class? You know what's interesting? I, my students really haven't made any comments. And, and now that I think about it, it seems so natural for them. You know, they show up to class on time. Everyone logs in to the Zoom or enters the classroom. They have never commented on the fact that, you know, I'm switching the cameras around and sometimes they're seeing me, sometimes they're seeing their classmates, sometimes I'm zooming into something. And I wonder if they even realize that I'm, in my mind, while I'm trying to teach the course, I'm also thinking about their experience and trying to make sure they feel part of this one big happy family in the classroom, even though some of us are physically present and some of us are virtually present. I have, I wonder if they even realize that I'm constantly thinking about that and using the cameras to create that experience. The only time they really ever said anything was when we did breakout rooms in, uh, so I had the entire class break out into groups of two to discuss something. So I used, you know, obviously the people in class were just, you know, six feet apart. Of course, our desks are six feet apart but they were able to talk with their masks on in groups of two. And then for the remote learners, I used Zoom and breakout rooms to let them talk quickly in groups of two. And then we came back 
to a lot as like one big large group and using the PTZ optics cameras in the front and back of the room, we were able to have this like big one group discussion and share our, our ideas. What have I learned? I've, I've learned about using these cameras, right? I, I've never done anything like this before. As I said, even in the fall, when I entered into this experience, I kind of thought, okay, it's just students on Zoom and students in the, in the seats, in the desks, and we've got to make it work. And even though the cameras were there, I hadn't even thought about the role they would play. Now, after teaching week after week after week, I've come to learn that they play a critical role in the engagement of, the, of each student, remote and physically present. I've learned how to use them, how to not use them. You know, like you don't want to be moving things around too quickly because people they lose their train of thought if you're uh, zooming in too fast or too slow. So I've learned to kind of be very careful about when I do that. There's so much I've learned in, in the time of the pandemic and in being an instructor and using technology, but specific to the use of the cameras in the classroom, those are the things I've learned. All right, well, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed it and share this video with someone that you might think finds it useful. The professor here was actually included in my book, Technology Tools for Online Education, where she helped me understand how she's using some of this technology. So you can download that book for free at the links below. Thanks so much for watching.